Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're going to be taking a look at a beautiful uh, library from Experimenta Project. And I have been using uh, their products for quite a while, and this is the Douay Piano Library. And Douay, because it contains not one, but two uh, different pianos, and one is based on a Yamaha C7 while the other is the smaller uh, Yamaha C3. And each one of them have just a very unique tone and a very unique character to them that I really have enjoyed using. And um, recently, uh, Flavio, the developer, has been just uh, going in and just fine tuning things and bringing, uh, bringing even more out of these pianos. And so we're just gonna take a quick look. So let's just dive right in. So you can take a look at the interface and you need to have a full version of Contact in order to use uh, Douay. And I just have the basic, uh, just out of the box, uh, the first NKI loaded. And this is the uh, first piano, the C7. And you have three mic positions on, uh, the C on the first piano, the C7. You have a close and a player and a room mic. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just um, solo the close mic so you can just get an idea of what uh, what each mic sounds like. So here we go. just has a real nice, uh, real nice intimate sound to it. And there's a little reverb here. Uh, got an effects section, got a little hall there, and you can adjust the size and the send. Let's just turn that off so we can just hear the, uh, the piano. So it was recorded in the uh, Sibelius Music Academy's recording studio in Helsinki. What a great uh, place to record these. So this is uh, just dry without any effects. So let's take a listen. Yeah, so you can tell how dry that is. And I just like to shape these a little bit. I like to get the release kind of uh, where, it, where it just doesn't cut all the way off. So I just extend this release time a little bit. Yeah, and you can play with that some. And while we're at the settings here, uh, you have control over the velocity curve, and you can just make that uh, kind of kind of uh, tweak that a little bit. Now, usually I like a little bit of dip on the SL880 uh, behind me, but the SL88 uh, has more of a, a linear response to it, so you don't have to shave as much of that curve off. Uh, so this is just still with a close mic. And you can always adjust that because that you can, some of those things are jumping out, but that's. But that is just very close. Um, so let's just see something here. Let's. Take that, yeah, there we go. We got the minimum and maximum velocities. And you have repedaling and overtones like the, uh, the resonances and different things going on. You can adjust those. So if we turn those up, um, you can just hear more ringing. Because the C7 has that typically really bright, uh, real bright edge on it, uh, which is really great for uh, allowing it to cut through the mix. So that's what we want uh, to cut through that mix. So let's just go on and uh, try to listen to the player position mic 
and you can just click on those uh, mic position uh, uh, labels there, and that will uh, mute and take the samples out, or uh, like we just did, when we clicked it, it enabled the uh, player mic. So let's take a listen at the player. So the player mics, the position just kind of helps um, just warm up this, uh, warm up the tone a little bit, and you don't have the direct attack of the hammers on the strings. Yeah, I like that. So let's listen to the room now. And the cool thing about all these mic positions is that you can get a blend. Now let's listen to the room. Now having the room mics, the uh, what I always like to think is it just is to add that little extra space. Um, so this is the player and the room. warmth to it uh, and then we can put the close mic in uh, yeah and that lets you dial in that attack so you can get more of a bite on there and I think I still have the reverb turned off uh, yeah so when you put the reverb in context now, it just really opens it up. And you have several different, um, different reverbs, large room, wood parking lot and church and spring reverb let's just uh let's just pull up one of the um yeah so this is like a wooden uh, chapel or church so uh, that is another way to warm up the sound. You have a compressor, an oldify, which is like a saturation type of effect, and uh, EQ. You have, um, you know, sweepables, bands, and different different things you can do with that. Okay, the mic settings. You can pan the mics uh, individually. And we've talked about the effects here. And you're going to find that when you go to the second piano, that uh, it's going to be uh, exactly the same setup uh, pretty much as far as the, um, the effects. The only thing is you don't have the player mic. You have a close mic and a room mic. Um, so let's just see some more.
So that can just really get you driving, uh, driving there. Then you can adjust the tone a little bit, and then you've got the reverb sends just right there. I'm just really impressed with the playability of it, you know. It just uh, is very nice to play. It's hard to stop playing, so. <laughs> okay, so let's just go on to the, the second piano. Now the C3, they just recorded it a little bit differently to just give you a nice closer sound. And I've played Douwe before uh, when it was first released in some of the in some of the earlier versions, and I just love the way that um, Flavio continues to uh, just refine, refine the sound, refine the expression. And you see, see here, you only have the close and the room mic uh, that uh, on the C3. And we have something here called uh, feeling. So feeling is a very interesting setting because what it allows you to do is to offset the, uh, the attack portion of the uh, samples to kind of simulate that delay when you play the key and it actually hits the string. And sometimes that uh, helps uh, kind of connect you a little bit closer to the instrument because it's not an instantaneous thing. There's always that little bit of uh, real world real world latency uh, when you're playing an acoustic piano. And so this tries to uh, approach to simulate that. So you can move it, um, you know, to the extreme here and, um, and just kind of hear what it does. And I feel that delay and what that does, it just, it just, it affects how you play. That's really nice. Okay, so let's look at the layers. So the layers uh, allow you to uh, put different materials. You've got uh, cotton, and uh, I'm gonna turn the layer sound up so you can kind of hear what's, what it's doing. It's just like little different uh, transient noises here, leaves. <laughs> yeah just kind of gives you some really interesting effects. Uh, glass. And you want to use those subtly. Um, and uh, let's see. But we have some tuned layers as well. And listen to what this does. And I'm going to blend the layer down just a little bit because you just, you want it to just kind of be there. And that's the bells. Let's uh, try the glockenspiel.
Let's do one more layer. Let's do choir. That's really interesting. Just so many cool things that you can do. And then we can turn that layer off. Let's turn it down there. And you can shift the format on the piano too. So that does an interesting thing. Uh, so we can turn it up and it just kind of makes it brighter or Let's go the other way. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. And it just kind of gives you like a nice dark. It almost gets into that uh, cinematic felt type of sound because it me kind of mutes the uh, the really sharp overtones. Okay, what uh, Flavio has done as well, if you look, you have um, some bonus patches and there's some really cool, interesting uh, patches here. So let's just pull up, uh, let's pull up the classical. We'll just drag that over there. So this is back to the first piano. So that's kind of fun. And you hear just the full range of tone from all the way to, from the bottom, from all the way to the bottom. <laughs> All the way to the top. <laughs> okay, let's just pull up another one of the um, one of these patches here. Let's see, Flavio's patch. Let's just take a listen. So I can hear why he named that after himself. Uh, it's just got a very nice smoothness to it. Yeah, that is so cool. And there's just so much to explore. And you know, when I get started, it's hard to quit. <laughs> if it's your first time uh, watching this channel, uh, just, uh, you know, it's a great, great time to subscribe. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. So all the links in the description will uh, give you some more information about uh, Douay. It is just a really 
really interesting piano library because like I said, you not, you not only get one, you get two. And having the C7 and the C3 together in this library just gives you a lot of different possibilities. And um, so this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. And until next time, uh, we will see you soon. Thanks so much.